I just had another flower bed conversation with a woman and I started thinking have I ever met a woman that didn't have flower beds and I don't think I have it's mandatory but when you put it to them well if you want to see a woman short circuit you let them know that they don't have to have flower beds <laughs> this last one kind of immediately scoffed <laughs> well that's not gonna happen <laughs> and that's after complaining about the flower beds and that's after me telling them what it's gonna cost if I were to keep them up but they always try it they said yeah the yard looks good but those flower beds sure are messy and then they look at me no ma'am I do not work for free you can look at me all you want I'm not gonna get down there for what no 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 another time I told her I said maybe you shouldn't have flower beds shut her down she didn't know what to say it's possible ladies you don't have to have flower beds because news flash they require maintenance that's it lunchtime I'm beyond messed up I have people that normally have their yard cut on Monday but since it's July 4th, they want it done before that. Along with all the people that I'm going to be backed up with. <laughs> um, this makes me very nervous. There's no doubt somebody is going to be pissed off at me. I just can't do it all. I can't do all these yards in the next two days. This happens so many times, all I can do is laugh about it. You can book it, I'm fired. Flood waters. This neighborhood's a swamp, it does not drain well at all. I know what these people are going to do before they do it. So I've already mapped out Saturday and I'm booking them up like that. Because I know I'm going to hear from them. Absolutely I'm going to hear from them. But what I would love to do is ask these people to their face. You're not going to surprise me at the last minute and say fit me in are you? And just watch them squirm because you know, they know, that's what they're going to do.